Daylight saving time. Oh, let me fix that. Yeah, the great saver of sunshine or just an excuse for the clocks to feel special twice a year. I think we should keep it. I like it. I have no problem with it. I'm not enjoying the winter of being dark. Yeah, we know how it works. We spring ahead one hour the second Sunday of March and we fall back the first Sunday of November. But why do we do this? So it's been implemented a few different times in our history and um, usually it was around energy savings. All right, so who's to credit or blame for this? This. Believe it or not, if we go all the way back to 1784, Ben Franklin wrote a letter as a joke <laughs> suggesting people in Paris could save on candle usage if only they could wake up earlier. But it had nothing to do with clock changing until 1895. And contrary to popular belief, it's not because of farmers. In fact, a lot of farmers have been against it. So why not just have one time year round? Yeah, we tried that during World War II and in the 70s, but people complained about going to school and commuting to work in the dark. But we know in Philadelphia, we're not going to have summer in December, regardless of what we do with the clock. If we go to permanent daylight time, what that would mean is that we have way less uh, mornings with sunshine. Right now, only two states don't observe daylight saving time, Arizona and Hawaii, plus U.S. territories. Now, states can abolish the seasonal changes, but it needs approval from the feds. So until then, keep messing up your internal clock for the sake of later sunshine. Matt Delusia, NBC 10 News.